Hello everyone, I'm here to do my own thoughts and review of the documentary on life on our planet. Um, I, I just saw the trailer like what, yesterday or or uh, or this morning. Um, it's coming out October 25th, which I'm actually very hyped to see. And I'm here to do my own like reaction thoughts on it. Even though, like I said, I just saw it like what, yesterday or today, but... And I'm also going to do, like, my own thoughts on the designs and stuff. And obviously, like, I can't show you guys the clips or the scenes or whatever because of copyright. And I can't, like, use, you know, play the sound because of copyright as well. That's why I muted. So, yeah, on to the video. Here we have a T-Rex footprint. It's shaking. A triceratops. My own thoughts, like, I mean, cool trike design, but it, I don't know why they use, like, rhino sounds, like, it makes no sense, I mean, then again, I mean, in Prehistoric Planet, like, the first season, they did use, like, dinosaur sounds that from, like, from pop culture sounds, and then, like, when they finally, like, released it, <laughs> They did use, like, other different sounds, but not sounds like we all know and love. At least for some of them, but, yeah. I mean, but with Triceratops using a rhino sound, come on now, bro. I mean, but let, then again, let's hope that they use the different sound, but, yeah. Uh, T-Rex that's ambushing a trike in the for in the forest. Um, head to head combat, you know, a Triceratops would definitely destroy a Rex without a problem. So it would make sense that T Rex would ambush a trike and surprise attack a Triceratops. You know. And then we have a Rex stepping on a twig. Triceratops is alerted, and then the T Rex strikes and attacks the Triceratops. And then we get to see an ocean. So I wonder how the hunt will play out, but yeah. Our planet. And we see some eggs. Dinosaur eggs and a volcano. The Smilodons. And yeah, then we get to see our Smilodons. The Smilodons look pretty all, pretty good for the most part. My only issue is that they have like... Kind of like, like rough hair, like... Like, kind of a mane, like, not really a mane mane, but, like, they kind of had, like, a mane on their back all the way through, like, their neck and head-ish, but I don't know. At least they did not put, like, a full mane, like a lion mane, though, but, yeah, and um, at least they put some spots on it, but, yeah, for the most part, it looks pretty good, but except for that, they... They should put fully spots, not like spots and stripes, though, but whatever. At least they did not put actual stripes like a tiger, since it's not a tiger, it's a different type of cat. Then we get a T-Rex mating corp ship and an asteroid. Um, narrated Academy Award winner Morgan Freeman, who's, by the way, he's the first... Well, not the first, but, well, for the very first time, he's doing, like, a prehistoric documentary narrator. You know, we see him narrate, like, a couple of documentaries, like March of the Penguins and stuff like that, though. But even though it's a horrible documentary, March of the Penguins, but, yeah. And then we get to see some hadrosaurs, woolly mammoths, scutosaurs. Um, those hatchlings, I have no idea what the hell they are. I'm thinking, like, maybe there's some type of sorp I sauropod. I doubt it, though, because they look nothing like a sauropod. But, I mean, then again, I could be wrong. But who knows? And then we have a theropod, an alceroid. I think it's an acrocanthosaurus. Let me know in the comments, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Then we have a terror bird. I think it's Titanus think so maybe they'll explain it um there's the present day a cheetah 
short clip and then we see some sauropods like feasting on um from the trees and stuff in the lake and then we have appears to be um some type of glyphodon i don't know i think it's uh doicarus or didicurius um from walking with prehistoric beasts or maybe it's a glyphodon or glyphotherium itself um yeah and then the smilodon's like on top of one of them which is pretty damn dope uh i think it's um then we see a microraptor and a theropod you know microraptor is like holy shit i'm getting the hell out of here um then we see intercevia attacking a scutosaurus pretty damn dope um some baboon then we see a baboons and Lystrosaurus, um, and we see the sauropods again, and this time, like, they're in a massive flood, one of them's, like, washed, washed away, <laughs> then we see a forest fire with a trike, some squ giant squids, it looks like, some lions, some crocs. Oh, look like a pliosaur, like a chronosaurus or something, attacking these um, plesiosaurs. I don't know. Komo dragon attacking a young buffalo, a gang of them. And then we see some, like, the extinction of the dinosaurs, I think, or it's the Permian. I don't know. Oh, then we see the hadrosaurs. And then we and then we see like a mating pair or I think it's a pride of cave lions. Um Panthera spilea, pretty good shot. You know, there's a male on the left. I think that those either are cubs or the females, and the other one's probably the mother, or maybe it's just one of the females as well. Um we see some cave lions hunting a mammoth calf, but there's like a herd of them of woolly mammoths and the woolly mammoths are charging at the cave lions um yeah like one two three five of them five cave lions and a herd of mammoths pretty interesting then but they retreated we see a herd of bison it was weird looking fish a pterosaur that appears to be like grabbing a sea turtle but it grabbed it but it Dropped it. Lucky for the sea turtle. Um, some ammonites. And then we get to see a uh, Dunkleosteus. Um, what I find very weird is that I thought that Dunkleosteus is from the per um not the Permian from the Devonian. Well, which is which is, but I thought that ammonites are not from the Devonian. Then again, I could be wrong. You know, don't. Don't quote me on that, but I always thought the Ammonites were from the Mesozoic era. Um, not from the Devonian period, but then again, like I said, don't quote me on that. And then we get to see this beautiful shot of this Tyrannosaurus Rex and uh, appears to be its mate. And it's like opening its mouth and looks pretty damn good. Like, I know that I'm not supposed to show you guys, but look at that. Like, this is pretty damn dope. Like, looks pretty damn awesome. Like, especially like its mouth, like when it opens its mouth, like you can still see its teeth sticking out. My only issue is with the Tyrannosaurus design, like... It has some osteoderms, and it has, like, iguana-like quills. Like, there's no evidence of T-Rex having, like, like crocodilian-like or osteoderms or scoots, and no evidence of, like, quills on... Well, not, like, the quills like most people know, but I mean, like, reptil... Like, iguana quills, it looks like. But... Yeah, it's kind of weird, though, but it's whatever. Um, at least it's pretty good for the most part. I kind of like it a lot.
you know, it's pretty damn dope. And then we have, uh, oh, then we have a, appears to be a dromaeosaur or a troodontid with its young. Very nice. And then we get the logo of life from our planet, <laughs> which looks pretty damn dope. Yeah, so I can't wait till the documentary comes out. I'm so hyped, though. Is it going to be better than Prehistoric Planet? We don't know, or I don't know, but it is still a really good documentary, it looks like. I hope that they won't use, like, over-speculated, because I don't like that. But again, who knows? And who knows, maybe it might have a really good story, because story is the most very important thing, you know? That's all I'm saying, really. So, yeah. So, what are your thoughts on the documentary um, of Life on Our Planet? Do you guys are you guys excited or or fifty fifty? Let me know in the comments.